Hi, this is Dr. Ivan Meisner with IvanMeisner.com and I'm at a Transformational Leadership Council meeting in Panama where I've met Terry Jones. Terry uh, has written a book called uh, Disruption Off. Love the book. I got one question for you. How do you inoculate yourself as a business from being disrupted in this day and age? You know, the most important thing to do is to take risk. When companies grow, they stop taking risk because they got to make the quarter. And you've got to experiment, you've got to take risk, and you have to be willing to fail. Because every startup is, 75% of startups fail, right? Yeah. So they're used to it, we're not. So we have to get back to experimentation, failure, and moving on. One of the challenges I think as a company gets bigger is it's a little bit like moving a battleship rather than a little boat. And so getting everyone in alignment to make a change is kind of it's tough that you don't have to get everybody in the beginning. Right. It only takes a few people to make a revolution. Right. I, I just was one of the world's largest oil companies. It took them six years to build their biodiesel division. Yeah. It's now their most profitable. Uh -huh. and, but boy, you know, it doesn't come out of the ground. We don't do it. It's not the same <laughs> and all this stuff. But guess what? They can make the change. So you start with something small. We did that at Travelocity inside right. American right. Airlines. Founder of Travelocity, soon, by the way, just so you know. Pretty soon it's a billion dollar company. Yeah. You know, but it, it, it is hard and you have to put it in the greenhouse and protect it against the white cells who are trying yeah. to kill it all the time, right? What about the small businesses? A lot of people who watch my blogs and, and who are involved in BNI are really small companies. Two, three, five, ten people. Any suggestions for them? Yeah, but you still have to experiment. Yeah. You know, I, I told a story in my speech about my limo driver in San Clemente. He takes yeah. me to the airport. It's a great story. He didn't change. He still wanted people to call him. I said, just open a second website. Let people book. And he said, no, I got to do it the old way. And after seven years, I got to notice a month ago, he's gone. He's bankrupt. What he I, didn't change. He didn't change. But what I love about what you talked about was keep the system you have and try this at the same time. Exactly. So that they can go online and book or they can, uh, they can, they call, can call you. They can call you. And let, your, let yourself compete against yourself through these two websites. I thought that was brilliant. You know, as a business owner, your opinion doesn't matter. Yeah. It's only your customer's opinion that matters. So yeah. let them pick. What do you got to lose? I had a, your I had, business. That's what you have to lose. <laughs> have to lose. I had somebody at a conference recently say, uh, someone told him, you want to be right or you want to make money? Uh, exactly. So, you know, just change and hire a kid and they'll come and <laughs> laugh at you. You know, because if you start thinking at our age about our grandkids yeah. and we look at their approach to life, we go, well, we're not going to do it that way. But guess what? All our customers are. Right. I, f I have a friend who is a second board of directors. It's all composed of millennials. Oh, that's And nice. he listens to them all the time. So hire a kid. Open a book. Change, please. Terry, thank you so much. Thank you. Really a pleasure having you on the blog. This is Ivan with IvanMiser.com. Thanks for watching.